So what you're seeing here is LEGO Universe, a massively multiplayer online game uh, based on LEGO uh, for 12 to 8, 8 to 12 year old uh, children coming out in the second half of 2010. Actually, when I say 8 to 12 year old children, I mean 8 to 12 year old children and fans of LEGO, so anybody can join in this game and have a good time. Uh, so the, the gist of the game is that you, invent, you go through the content that we've created, adventure through fighting enemies, and collecting, building, and smash. You can go into your personal property, use the brick to create your own world. So if you create like a dragon, you can uh, add behaviors to our scripting system in the game and make that dragon breathe fire, make that dragon run, make him bark like a dog, and have your friends come into your personal property and play the game that you have just created. So that's uh, the short thing, the short story of the game. Uh, and it is an MMO, so we'll have content drops every six months. We drop new worlds based on Legos, whatever uh, we can up with. Start here, bottom, and get up to the monument as fast as he can. Now, if you were with his friends, he could go up with four of his friends and they would race to the top. There are three different paths to the top. An easy, medium, and hard path. Um, and he's taking the green path now, smashing as he goes up, and collecting imagination represented by those orbs and hearts and coins, which he will use as currency later on. So it, it is a, there are some platforming mechanics, as in the other LEGO games, and you can see he's chasing another player that is playing with him. And now he's going for the platform. So here we go. So basically he's just trying to break a record by going to the top. So when he gets to the top, he'll build the finish line and he can go back down to the bottom and keep going up, trying to, trying to beat his time. And what you just saw before there was called a, a quick build. Where he just holds down the control key and the Legos are all the Legos pieced together, sort of like the TT games. Open the chest, taking the loot, and as I said before, he'll take those bricks that he's not collected, and he can use those in his physical property later on to build his own world. So as you collect, you go through Adventure 2, you collect different bricks, and you use those pieces later on. So another quick build to get to this top of the monument here. Yeah, some imagination orbs, some chests. Loot, another quick build to build the way to get across. The interesting thing I didn't mention before is that anything that you build in this game you can physically buy later on as products. So you take if you, it takes you three months to build a Millennium Falcon, you can actually purchase that set later on. We'll send Lego we'll send it to you. Nice. And he's now finished the race, and that's the end of the monument. And get him to the end. And of course, you can also buy these things. Anything that's in this game, your minifig, anything you create, anything you see, you'll be able to purchase. Because oh, all these bricks are real. It's like everything that Lego's made out of plastic and rendered it in the game. Got some vendors where you can spend your coins. There's a trade system, and the, another thing is this game is completely safe for kids. All the models that you physically place are all moderated by a team of Lego folks on the other end to make sure no offensive content gets in, as well as names. Well, looks like he bought some toothpaste. There's a backpack where all your kit goes. 